Hi students, welcome to my channel Faisal Physics CIS point to point explanation, examination, point of view explanation. In this video, you will be learning law of conservation of energy and you will be proving that law of conservation of energy in case of freely falling body. This topic is taken from CBSC class 11th physics as well as intermediate first year physics. For intermediate first year physics, this question is very very important for 8 marks. To prove law of conservation of energy in case of freely falling body, Consider an object of mass m at point A at height h from the ground. When the object is freely falling, the object will move from point A to B and then B to C. So we have to prove total energy constant at point A and at point B as well as at point C. The total energy must be constant. So as you have seen here, the height of the object is h when the object is at point A. When the object is moving from point A to B, it displaces to a distance x and height of the object is h minus x from the ground when the object is at point b when the object reaches point c the height will be zero let us consider point a at point a so first of all let us check potential energy so potential energy formula is m g h so here m is mass g is acceleration to gravity h is height of the object when it is at point a let us see kinetic energy. The formula of kinetic energy is half mv square. As the object is freely falling, therefore the velocity of the object will be 0. Therefore, so Ke equal to half m into 0 square. That means kinetic energy is 0. Let us check total energy. So total energy means potential energy plus kinetic energy. So the formula of potential energy we got here mgh and the value of kinetic energy here we got 0. Therefore, total energy at point A is given by mgh. So, this is total energy at point A. Make this as equation number 1. Now, we have to find total energy at point B. At point B. So, first of all, check potential energy at point B. The formula of potential energy is mass g and h so what is the height at point b so if you look at the figure the height of the object at point b is h minus x so in place of h we will write h minus x so potential energy is equal to mg h minus x so here potential energy is equal to mg h minus mg x make it as equation number one now let us find kinetic energy so kinetic energy is equal to half m v square make it equation number two here we don't know the velocity of the object at point b that's why we have to find v so for this purpose we will use equation of motion that is v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s in this case the object is freely falling for freely falling object we take u equal to 0 a equal to g and displacement object move from a to b that means x all these values we will substitute here so we will get v square minus 0 is equal to 2 g x v square equal to 2 g x equation number 3 put the value of 3 in 2 so we get kinetic energy is equal to half m into v square so v square we have here 2 g x 2 g x so 2 to cancel the value of kinetic energy here is m g x not total energy so total energy is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy so potential energy how much we have here we have to write and kinetic energy potential energy we have mgh minus mgx we will write that here mgh minus mgx and plus kinetic energy kinetic energy we have found here mgx so mgx so here minus mgx plus mgs cancel we got mgh as total energy at point b make it as equation number two if you look at equation one and equation two you can see that total energy is mgh at point a as well as at point b now we have to find total energy at point c at point c at point c so first of all let us check potential energy so potential energy is formula mgh but here the height is 0. Therefore, 
potential energy at point C is zero. When the object is at point C, there is no height. Therefore, the value of height is zero. Therefore, potential energy at point C is zero. Now we have to find kinetic energy. Formula of kinetic energy is half m v square. Here you have to remember that when the object is freely falling and its velocity when it is touching the ground is v square is equal to 2 gh. So therefore kinetic energy is equal to half m in place of v square we have to write 2 gh. This formula you have to remember velocity on reaching the ground formula is v square is equal to 2 gh that you have to remember. Therefore in place of v square I am writing 2 gh. Now this two this two cancel. Kinetic energy is equal to mgh, mgh. The last part total energy. Total energy means potential energy plus kinetic energy. Therefore, total energy, potential energy we got here zero and kinetic energy we got mgh. So, total energy is equal to zero plus mgh is nothing but mgh. Here also we have got mgh. That is equation three. If you look at equation one, equation 2, equation 3, you got mgh, mgh, mgh. That means total energy is constant in case of freely falling body. This topic is very very important for intermediate first year.